Hi there boys and girls. Let's go over our math work for today, Thursday, March 26th. We are on lesson 7.10 and we're starting on page 297. So this is the last math um, section that we have before our quiz at the end, which I know is very exciting. We are working again with 18 and 19, showing it and writing it. So you're gonna go ahead as always and count your counters, make sure it matches this number. Then you're going to trace the number 18, trace the word 18. That's a tricky word to spell, so take your time with that. Same thing for 19, counting and tracing. Then we're going to turn the page page 298 working again with just 18 so go ahead and count you have two 10 frames one is full one is not count and make sure you get 18 tracing your number again remember when you make that 8 you are making an S and closing the gate I'll show you again you are making an S making an S and close the gate. It's hard to see, but make sure that we're doing it that way, okay? Making an S, making an S and close that gate to make a nice even eight. Then you are coming down here to these two 10 frames. Count how many, write the number on the line and you're going to use these two 10 frames to solve this problem down here. So our first, our first number comes from this 10 frame and we see that this is full. So we know that that equals how many? 10, right? So we're gonna put 10 on that first line because that first 10 frame is full. You're gonna trace your plus sign How many, how many um, boxes are filled in this 10 frame? So count them carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make an S, close the gate, okay? Make an S, close the gate. And then we know that 10 plus eight equals how many? You're gonna count again how many green squares you have. 10 plus eight equals 18. Okay, read that problem at the bottom with me. 10 plus eight equals 18. We did the page for 18 together. <clears throat> You're going to do the page for 19 on your own. So again, counting, tracing, counting, writing, and then use these two 10 frames to make your problem down here at the bottom. All right, then we turn to page 300, boys and girls, we are on page 300. <clears throat> 300, I want you to again choose any number along the side here. You can choose 17, 18, or 19. I'm going to choose 17 today. We have some pretty purple flowers. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I need this many. We need 17, my friends or if you choose 18 or 19, whatever you choose, you're gonna draw your flowers to match. Make your picture match the number that you chose, okay? Down here in this space, draw 19 objects and then circle 10 of them. So we've been doing this this entire chapter, right? If I draw 19 objects, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 
I have 19 blue circles. Now I need to circle 10 of them. Make sure you count carefully as our numbers are getting big. I've circled 10 of my objects, so I know that my first number is what I just circled. It's 10. I'm going to trace my equal sign and my plus sign. And you are going to finish this problem. 19 equals 10 plus, hmm, how many circles are not, how many objects were not circled? So count your objects and put that number on the line. Okay, great job, boys and girls. When I see you tomorrow for math, we will go into our little quiz and I will walk you through it step by step. All right, great job, boys and girls. See you soon.